unattended sandwiches will be eaten by me. are reminded that this is the fun part. Because it's time for the Harrison Wolf Show here on Two Point Radio. And it's gonna be a wild ride. It's me, Harrison Wolf, the voice of freedom screaming into a thankless night. It's gonna be a huge show today. So I'm gonna eat a big old sandwich. Let's power up and power on. <laughs> Tuition fees are expensive, and education is priceless. Intruders, please not come in. 
education is non-refundable. See that Bungle launched another rocket into space the other day? I'm sure they'll tell you that it's important work. But what I want to know is why don't they try something a little funkier? I mean, how many times do we have to do the same old bunch of astronaut things? Why not send up a load of sandwiches? Or a robot? Or that angry badger that lives in my garden? Because it doesn't fit with their agenda. That's why. Change your passwords. Sorry. forgotten what this segment was going to be about. Do you ever just forget what you're going to say? Thoughts are like frogs and sometimes they just hop away, but they know what they're doing. If I still knew, we'd never have had this moment. It feels right. Oh, yeah, I remember now. Here's a song. There's a fly in here.
return to the hospital. Thank you. is not a belief system. At Milkmaid, we use real dairy style ingredients in our milkshakes for a level of consistency that just isn't natural. Meaning that every glass of Milkmaid is eerily similar to the last. Wow! Mmm, Milkmaid. Now that's good milk. Mm. Not technically milk. should be checked in and then removed immediately. Students are reminded to set reminders. And Wolf bringing you unfiltered content on Two Point Radio. I don't have an editor on my show. Why? Because editors can change what you say. They can make me say, hey everyone, come to my house and take my petunias. 
but I'd never say that outside of this specific example. It's gotta be natural, man. Give me juice with the pulp and give me cheese with the wax on. This is Radio O Natural. It's El Fresco. It's El Dente. Oh yeah. Students are reminded that some grades are personal. I was watching some of that cheesy gubbins show the other day. You know, the cheesy goblins? Man, was I confused. What's their deal? Do they grow the gubbins? Are they trying to find them or mine them or something? I tell you, kids must be pretty smart these days to follow such a complex show. Tip of the hat to any kids listening along.
project complete. Aren't you clever? Expressions are more than a little strange, like getting up on the wrong side of the bed. What are you talking about? If you're having a lousy day, there's no need to vilify half of your mattress, my man. Jeez, just have a bagel or something. There's enough negativity in the world. Hard work. It's the end of today's show, but don't worry. Every ending is the opportunity for you to, you know, go and do something else. When life flushes a toilet, it starts showing a cool movie at that theater downtown. So have a good one, my friends. See you next time. We are approaching the end of the academic year. Try not to worry.
asked questions. No, your chicken should not be pink. End of year results are now available. No unauthorized panicking. Enjoy your summer. I know I will. Summer break would be a convenient time for construction. a test announcement, not a real announcement. Is, is it really worth going?
Ricky Hawthorne on Two Point Radio. Today, I balance two hats jauntily on my one singular head. My regular disc jockeying hat is joined by my occasional chef hat. Yes, I'll be taking you all over Two Point County as I recount my latest culinary travels when I set out to find the finest foods our great county has to offer. Just a hungry man in his hatchback. It's a tale as old as time. Frequently asked questions. Your food is cold because the oven wasn't on. are asked not to ask questions. The culinary world is a lot like the real world. There are places, there are smells, there's a chance you'll get lost. After a series of wrong turns, now 60 miles off course, I was treated to the first food of my trip. A wandering puffed pastry and something I believe to be meat. The buttery sausage-style matter mingled playfully with hints of pine from my air freshener. It was unexpected. It was dangerous. It was cold in the middle.
spent on administrative bonuses. If you ask me, Hogsport boasts the finest milkshakes in Two Point County. At the Oily Cormorant, they'll serve you a traditional malt in an old leather boot and throw in a salt and vinegar egg. You just cannot beat it. Milkshakes are a great tradition. They're in our blood. In fact, I once received medical attention after enjoying a few dozen shakes and was told that my blood was over 60% ice cream. How <laughs> we laughed. Mm. Warning, stupid questions will make you look stupid.
Guys, guys, hear me out. What if we went back to school? It started as a class reunion and ended with them back in class. That's crazy! Hey, I'm climbing on a statue. Everybody get in the shed! I can't revise anymore. My knees hurt. Roger and Cushion is Varsity Freshman in Immature Students. University gives you a bright future and clouds it with debt. Huge fan of Yeti cuisine. Yes, our neighbors to the north really know their way around a kitchen. From stews and pickles to five-tiered sandwiches. And, of course, their pies. Cold hands make the boldest pastry, after all. And it is freezing up there. You really must try it. It's the food of the people. And those people are Yetis. It's not your year. It's just another year. You students should make a good first impression. No pressure. Now taking students for Scientography.
staff are reminded to care about students. was famished when I arrived at the Royal Tumble Hotel. So much so that I took advantage of my kitchenette and feasted greedily on some toast. When I returned from a walk, I was stunned to find that all crumbage had been decrumbled. The bed was made and the toilet spotless. Every sign of life had been washed away. You've got to ask yourself, had I really been staying here? Indeed, do I exist at all? Lovely stuff! Students are reminded that you came here on purpose.
This trip was all about regional delights and cultural differences. One man's casual volavor is another's world-shattering epiphany. The people of Smogly have been crusting and dusting their fish for as long as anyone can remember. But at the recently opened What's the Matter, they use a unique cheesy gubbin crumb. Ho 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 ho! I can safely say that it was the cheesiest fish this DJ had ever eaten. <laughs> That's a winner! Announcement. Plants need water, remember? I hope you enjoyed today's show as much as I enjoyed my trip around this wonderful, mysterious county of ours. But for now, all of this talk about food has made me hungry. So I'm off to the fridge to take out the first thing I find and cover it in mayonnaise. Until next time, I've been Ricky Hawthorne. Cheers!
reminded to be inspirational. Stay hydrated.
This is Campus Radio, the radio station by students, for students, with students and so on. We've got a fantastic show coming up for you today. Some of you might not like it, but that's really on you. Quality grassroots radio coming right up. If you don't know where your class is, is it really worth going? talking on campus. Thank you. It feels like every day we're talking about Jasmine Odyssey. Some of you must think I actually really like her approachable brand of toe tap and pop music. <laughs> yeah, good one, guys. Though, I must say, she actually has a really interesting record from the early days of her career that went by the name of Dung Beetle Jamboree. Sure, you've probably never heard of it, but it's worth your time if you're willing to find the rare and badly produced demos online. It's raw, it's unconventional, and I think criminally underrated.
questions. Your food is cold because the oven wasn't on. For a book review, here's Maggie on a recently released biography of Jasmine Odyssey. <laughs> this should be good. This week, I've been reading Jasmine, My Odyssey by Jasmine Odyssey. It's just amazing for those of us that feel like we've known who she is for, well, ages, really, just to hear all about what that's like from her and those talented, talented ghostwriters. The end of year results have been released. Luck won't help you now. questions. No, I will not be your friend.
school work, moron, social life, loser, exercise, coward. You just can't do it all. There's only one way to fit everything in. Make your life jumbo. Jumbo University. Be your biggest self. Plagiarism is not a belief system. Okay. <laughs> 
I love meat, and I love wizards. But does that mean that I love the video game franchise Meat Wizard? Not necessarily. There's just something so complex about modern games, and it doesn't sit right with me. They just can't compare to the charm and focus of vintage games like CJ Spotter, the fire-breathing otter. Where you only had two actions, jump and sneeze. For me, it's still the pinnacle of sneezing in games. Janitor needed to unblock toilets. Lovely.
frequently asked questions. No, you can't have an extension. The Harrison Wolf Show, baby. All right. This is Harrison Wolf bringing you the Harrison Wolf Power Hour. I've been seeing a lot of stuff about colleges lately. Lots of study here, learn so and so, qualification this and qualification that. But let me tell you something they don't want you to know. It's a scam. All of it. We've just completed a research project. Well done. We've all been quizzed at school, but what really happens during a test? You get a question, you write down your answer, and then some bozo tells you that you're wrong. But who's to say they're right? What's so great about their answers? If we've all got the same answers, then what's the point of there being so many of us, huh? I tell you, it's a crime that they make kids take their tests. Not a real criminal kind of crime, of course. But it's majorly uncool, and that's the kind of crime. Frequently asked questions. No, I've not seen your frog.
Students are reminded that this is the fun part. I shouldn't have to tell you, but if Jumbo McNally's getting involved in something, you know it's bad. Jumbo University? Ha! Huh, what a racket! You can teach Mr. McNally a lesson by signing my petition to have him fired into space. Students are reminded to set reminders. from Smell My Cash. Be 
Being a student is hard enough. The least we could do is give you loads of money. Smell my cash for students. Sure, you have to pay it back, but that's future use problems. Frequently asked questions. Yes, we are testing you. Ever thought about why they're so keen to teach us to read? Think about it. So we can read what they write. Huh, well, it makes so much sense when you think about it. It's just another way for them to control us. That's why I only trust the Daily Disorder for my news. They take the regular news and turn every word into an anagram, breaking down the code. He can't understand a thing. It's perfect. Skills are non transferable.
You think I got into radio because of some fancy piece of paper? No, sir. Radio is pure jazz, man. It's alive and unpredictable. You can't just learn it. Sure, you could pay some big shot to tell you which buttons to press and when, and that's fine. But that's not radio. Not really. Here's another previously scheduled song that I didn't choose. Staff are reminded to care about students. a research project. Well done. Here's a question from Kevin and Flottering. Hey Harrison, what was your favorite project in school? Well, it's a good question, and you gotta remember, just because education is a scam doesn't mean all those teachers are bad people. So, to answer your question, I used to like making the little volcano. It's pretty trippy to learn that volcanoes are full of vinegar, right? But how do we collect it safely? I don't know. But that's what they ought to be teaching us, man. If you hear this, please drink some water. Thank you.
Students are reminded to be in two places at once. I never went to college. At least, I don't remember going to college. Anyway, I turned out just fine. Join me at the same time tomorrow, when the day sun goes bye-bye and the spooky white beach ball casts down its dark favor on us all. Good night. Students are reminded that there's no such thing as free time. a research project. Well done.
to Campus Radio. Today's show is brought to you by the Orb Foundation. Sign up at your campus today. The Orb is the perfect shape and the perfect solution. Please read anything they make you sign, okay? Okay. Janitor needed to unblock toilets. Lovely. Questions. No, you can't have an extension. are long and writing them down can waste precious study time but what's the alternative over to you Maggie yes I've devised my own method of shorthand that saves me so much time it really enables me to pay attention during lectures and make notes at the same time I mean, sometimes it is really quite hard to tell what I've written and that can waste some time and be a bit, um, distressing. So, if anyone does know how to take real shorthand, could you let me know? Please. Staff are reminded to care about students.
Dancing Sue. Was there anything we wanted to do? The yearly results are in. Wow, didn't we do well? Here is over. Students must vacate the campus. to Wanda, who'll be talking about posters, apparently. Yes, today we're talking posters, specifically what your posters say about you. A Jasmine Odyssey poster tells me that you're a kind spirit with a nice smelling face. A poster of a car tells me that you just love mechanical things like carburetors, exhaust pipes, and cup holders. And a cheesy Guppins poster tells me that you're very, very hungry. Doctor, return to the hospital. Thank you.
At Jumbo, we know it's our employees that are the big deal. That's why they get the Jumbo treatment. Mobile stationery, toilet substitute.